In my previous video, I showed you guys how to update your OnePlus 2 to the beta version of Oxygen OS 3.2 based on Marshmallow. And as per your requests, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through what's changed with Oxygen OS 3.0. This is Sundar from C4E Tech and let's get started. First up, the shelf UI has been changed. There is no edit mode anymore. You can now rearrange or remove the boards with a long press. Next up, we have a few changes in the camera user interface. Swiping up and down lets you toggle between photo and video modes. And you can change the aspect ratio and enable or disable grid view without going to settings. They're found at the bottom. The HD and HDR modes along with flash settings can be found in the top right corner. Another noticeable change is that you can preview and set wallpapers for both the home screen and the lock screen at the same time. The Alert slider has more customization options, priority settings and silent settings. And while fiddling with the other settings, I noticed that the old app permissions is out, replaced by the native app permissions from Marshmallow. The performance of the fingerprint sensor has improved as well. It feels faster and even the accuracy seems to have improved. Similarly, the performance also seemed better. While playing around with the phone after the update, everything felt a little faster than before. And just to make sure it wasn't an illusion, I decided to do a simple speed test, Marshmallow vs Lollipop on the OnePlus 2. I decided to open just 4 apps. In both instances, I started from scratch, from a factory reset. Connected to the same wireless network and there were no apps running in the background. While on Marshmallow, the OnePlus 2 finished the test in 51 seconds, it took almost a minute while running Lollipop. So I guess I was right, the performance has also improved. Given that the OnePlus 2 never had much memory management issue, it still continues to perform the same way. On the other hand, I feel the battery life has taken a hit here. If you are running Oxygen OS 3.0 on your OnePlus 2, what do you feel about the battery life? Let me know in the comments below. So with that, we get to the end of today's video. Hope you liked it and if you did, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to C4E Tech if you haven't already. Until next time, this is Sundar leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.